All right, hey, what's up everybody? GratuitousBeatStruggles.com. In this video, I wanna introduce you guys to the cutting feature. Um, I've talked about it a lot throughout all my tutorials and stuff like that, but I've never made a specific video regarding cutting. Now to me, um, I use cutting very, very often. I feel it really cleans up my sounds. Plus, it's a really great tool when you're um, using bass lines and 808s and stuff like that when um, sounds start kind of overlapping and you get kind of like that wobble clashing sound. So in this video, I'm going to be using 808 drums by Sounds in HD. This is by far the best 808 kit that I have ever tried that I own and you guys can get it at a discount at soundpackflyer.com. So I'll leave the link in the description for 808 drums by Sounds in HD, a phenomenal, phenomenal kit. All right, so what I'm saying about uh, the cutting feature is uh, right here, you're able just to cut itself, okay? Um, I'm gonna get an, an 808 just to really show you um, what I'm talking about here. Now, if you're on um, iPhone speakers, like cell phone, anything like that, um, sorry if you can't really hear the 808. Okay, so if we right click on the sound here, we can see that it's not cut, okay? So if I play it like this, um, we're gonna hear is this gonna be a huge buildup and um, it's just gonna sound absolutely horrible. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna turn off loop points, uh, I'm gonna reset this um, because this, this will allow me to kind of play up and down um, on the keys. You know, and no one wants that in a beat. Um, your beat would sound so blurry, so muddy, and you want clean beats, especially in the bass. You want your bass nice, clean, uh, hard hitting. So now if I come in here, right click and go cut itself, uh, I could play as many notes uh, as fast as I want, and it's just gonna stop playing as soon as a new sound starts. So for example, Okay, so when I play this first sound, as soon as I play another sound, um, the first sound is being cut off and then the second sound is continuing. Now this is absolutely huge, especially for 808s and bass lines, uh, sometimes kicks and all that kind of stuff. All right, so now let's say you have um, two different sounds that you wanna cut together. So for example, uh, like vocal samples or in our case, let's say we have two 808s that we're using. For whatever reason, we have two 808s, so um, I'll get just another one, uh, so it'll be number two. All right, so let's just say uh, we're just playing it something like this, um, wherever this sound is not playing, this one will be. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it up an octave just so that they're distinct and we can hear the difference between them. All right, we're gonna click on the sound, we're gonna go M-I-S-C, so I'm gonna guess this is miscellaneous. Uh, I'm gonna click on it, and now you're gonna see cut and cut by. So if you just click here, it's the exact same thing as clicking uh, cut itself. But um, now to cut uh, sounds together, so if we go cut itself, now we're three. You just wanna put that on two and two, and whenever this sound is playing, it's gonna cut this sound off and vice versa, okay? So if we uh, take a listen with the cut on. All right, so it sounds really, really nice and clean, which is what you want, especially in the bass. But now let's come here and let's take off the cut itself. So um, whenever this sound is playing, um, it's just gonna kind of, um, you know, overlap it. And it might not sound too bad because this is up an octave. You know, it's not like that low bass. And also keep in mind, this one is cut, this one is not cut. So uh, we'll play it, we'll see how it sounds. All right, so it already sounds a little weird. Uh, if I take uh, this cut off now, um, it's probably gonna get really bad. All right, so not cool. Uh, right click here, go cut, cut, um, come to this one, so we're three, and this one's two, so we'll put that on three, and if we check this out again. All right, so this is the cutting feature. Um, really, really simple to use. Again, it's in that miscellaneous tab, um, and then you just put it on the same number that you wanna cut. Now, this isn't just for 808s or um, kicks or anything like that. Um, I actually have a video on the power of symbols where um, I showed how to do this. So you guys can uh, watch this video right here or check the link in the description. You know, like along like my beat making process, I've just kind of come across using the cut feature as kind of like an effect as like a tool. And you know, it sounds really, really cool if you use it at the right times in the right places. Also, one more thing to mention, uh, if we go to the FPC here, um, it also obviously has a, a cut function. So we can see up here, you know, um, you have like, zero, zero, you wanna cut it by one, one. So if you want this pad to cut off this pad, uh, you put them both on one. Um, but if you don't want this pad to cut at all, then you don't cut it at all. You know, that kind of stuff. Also to mention about the FPC here, um, if you play, 
you're going to see it's on the master. So this uh, rim shot here, if I put this um, onto one, you're going to see it's going to go to uh, master two. That allows you to mix individual pads on their own uh, insert. All right, so I'm Gratuitous. This is BeatStruggles.com. This is how I cut my sounds. It's a very, very, very powerful technique. As I said, I've talked about cutting a lot in a lot of my other tutorials and stuff like that, but I thought making a specific video, just going over it, how to use it, um, would really help a lot of you out. So if you guys want to stay up to date with me here at Beat Struggles, you guys can sign up to the Beat Struggles newsletter. I'll leave that link in the description. If you guys are interested in purchasing 808 drums by Sounds in HD, you guys can check out soundpackflyer.com. I'll leave that link in the description as well. You guys can also check out my personal website, it'sgratuitous.com. Please subscribe to Beat Struggles here on YouTube and I'll talk to you guys later.